Welcome back. The Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa has called on Zimbabweans to respect their king. It's also appealed to Saturday countries to be unified through their mutual heritage and not allow borders to separate them. This was during anniversary celebrations in the Mawabeni for King Mike Moyo, who says he's still waiting for full official recognition. ENC correspondent Pindai Dube brings us this report. King Mike Moyo was installed two years ago as king of Roji Loji Kingdom, which was a Zimbabwean name between 1684 and 1889. Moyo has now celebrated his second anniversary of rule, which included the Mambo Day events. The celebrations took place in the mountains and also at his homestead in Mawabeni, 60 kilometers southeast of Bulawayo. In attendance was the Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa, Kotrenesa, as well as traditional chiefs from all over Zimbabwe. Kotrenesa leader Zolani Mukiva, who is also a South African MP, took the opportunity to call on Zimbabweans to respect and support their king. We have to maintain a cordial relationship between us as, re as respective countries. And we must have a way of ensuring that the borders that were created by colonialists are undermined. Because you have relatives in South Africa, you have relatives in Botswana. We are one people. We come from the same history, the same heritage and the same background. Addressing those attending his celebrations, King Moyo says it was time the Zimbabwean government officially recognize him. Um, I need um, a full recognition of uh, not half half. I need uh, our government to amend the constitution to allow a king to exist officially. The celebratory events every October not only honor the king, but also the traditions and cultures of local people. Pindai Dube, Mawaweni, Matebeleland, South Zimbabwe.